From the turkey to the cranberry sauce, Thanksgiving can really burn a hole in your wallet. That's why we're looking at the best ways to save as you shop for the big dinner. Kayla Pasquale is a nutritionist. We've got a couple different types of potatoes here. But also someone who likes to save money. Super affordable, especially if you buy them in bulk. She says you don't have to pay top dollar for fresh everything. It's not a bad idea to do some combination of fresh, frozen, and canned. In fact, she says frozen turkey and veggies give you the most bang for your buck. I love frozen because they're actually picked at their peak ripeness, so the nutrition is locked into the products. And while grocery prices are up compared to last year, there is a silver lining. We're actually paying less right now than we had been previously this year. Leslie Saracen is the president and CEO of the Food Industry Association. She suggests acting now if you want to save. Planning ahead, identifying what you already have available in your pantry and, and in your refrigerator. From pecan pie to potatoes, nearly four in ten Americans expect to spend more than $150 on ingredients this year, but you can cut costs. There are plenty of things you can do to save. Sarah Raffner is a personal finance expert at NerdWallet. She says after you set your spending limit, look for deals. Look at weekly ad circulars and see what's on sale at all the grocery stores in your area. To scan all the options at once, Sarah suggests the app Flip. Next, spread out your spending, buying things like canned food now. If it's still too much, save time, energy, and cash by hosting a potluck. Share the effort, share the cost. Don't be afraid to ask them to contribute a dish or, you know, bring their favorite side. It definitely goes a long way with feeding the masses on the holiday. That way you don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris.